drink how many fifths a year? Two. <laughs> Only two, huh? Only two. Now I drank all free whiskey I can get. All of what? Free whiskey. Free whiskey? Yeah. I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. You go to the, like a Republican cookout. Them, them boys right there. Oh, I'll bring that. Big good. I.W. Harper. Drink on the house, huh? No, no Rex here to pull up all that. Ooh, I just got deep in that whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know we was just helping him. He, he brings a picture half a gallon. He offers his drink out of it. Hey, don't, don't think we ain't gonna drink. Are you sure we still in the... Oh yeah, we still in it. We get loaded down with feet. We might not be able to go back up to the river should be right there, huh? Bad what a man gotta go through to get get a fish, ain't it? Grocery still probably gonna have to do this. You figure out a way to stay away from the grocery store, huh? You got to. Our road done got shallow. Can't hardly get across. Don't let me throw you out now. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Get over this treetop. We got it, don't we? Might, might need a fifth of jack after all that, don't we? Yeah. Probably, probably going to need two fifths after we get... We might just have to get on our uh, you know, your yearly allowance after we raise these nets. Since old Biden went president, that Jack Daniel went from $18 a fifth to down $28. Oh, since Biden went in office? Well, everything went up. Well, fella need a good direction. Here we go. Here comes the net in. It's clean on the back end, so that. They're going to be a fish or two. It's a lot of current right here in this corner. But uh, I don't see no fish or flock. Got, got a couple of buffalo. Four buffalo. Four? Oh, yeah. Yeah, got four buffalo. A uh, little good eating. Bradley done worked all night. and He's getting a good working out today on, uh, on these nets. Yeah, Bradley's tired. Now we're fishing raise the second hook net and and hope we have some buffalo and some catfish. I ain't no telling what a lot will come up in it. Ned's a little nasty. I ain't seen no fish yet, but uh not saying it ain't gonna be some. We getting Oh, look like we might have a catfish. Yeah, we we got we got one we got one buffalo and one one catfish uh, had a little bit better run last week. Yeah, last week was good. Yeah, last week was real good. Now, th this week it's slacked up. Bradley tied the head tail line off a little bit before he can dump the fish. Put, trash put, stuff got a lot of trash in it. Put, pretty good little blue in there. Price of groceries and everything is the fella going he got the fish to do something for a living uh, to stay out in that grocery store. Look at that, that's a nice one. That is Braddock trying to hem down that buffalo. Yeah, good one. Good one. Good one. There it is. We're raising the third hook net, uh, and we're raising this net. It's, it's, it's nasty, and oh, we we, can, we got three or four uh, blue cat in there. Three, got three blues. I'm rather getting a little slack on his tail line before he can dump the fish. Kind of a cloudy, overcast day, little little sprinkling, but it's it it don't 
Uh, shut down two good fishermen on, on, on the Washtenaw River, though. There they are. They're coming, they, they're coming out of there now. Yeah, that's a pretty one right there. He's throwing a big old blue cat in. We got three of them. Good, good fillet size there. You get, you get some meat out of them. Oh, we got four. We got four. There you go. Meat looking better in the tub now. Let me show y'all real quick how to dress this buffalo. Come right now, let electric feeling now. Right around that thing, right there. Go all the way down, get get them ribs. Come off of there, just like you feel laying a bass or white perch or something. Down there like that. Just like it. Get the other side. You have to come back behind this collarbone just a little bit. Right about there. Right around that pin, stay low. Like that. Spinning back around. We'll get behind that first rib. Once you crack that first rib, it'll go in. Like be laying anything else. You want to save this backbone? For what? What do you save backbone for? The cook cat. Now this, you can scrape that out with a knife. Get all that yeah. fat and yucky out of there. This war, you got to watch them little bones, ain't it? Well, I don't worry about it too much. Come right in there on that sea lay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your hand loose. Yeah, get your little hole. Sea lay that side off. Just like that. Yeah, you're cutting a little bit of bone right there, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that sea lay where you ain't even gotta worry about it. How we gonna cook them up? Get this other one. Show y'all what I do right here. Get that fat out of there. Turn your water pressure up. Get yeah, it right out of there. Pressure. Mr. Lloyd said he ain't got no water pressure. And once you get that like that right there, cut that right in there. Cut them ribs out, just like that. Lay that one there. Same thing on this one. Right there, cut them ribs out. What I always like to do right here is tear it. I'll take my catfish skinners and that little bit of skin that got left on there, take that off. Get that little bit of skin out of there. Now, I'm gonna shave just a little bit of this meat out, that red streak out of there, just a little bit of it. I'm not getting down there too much into them little bones. A lot of people say, well, you're cutting them to them little bones, you're messing up on buffalo. No, I ain't messing up. I'm gonna show you how we gonna cook it and it ain't gonna matter. I actually did not even get into those little bones right there by doing that. Yeah. But that's what we're going to cook right there. On the buffalo, just take that backbone right there. If you're going to keep the backbone. Some yeah. people like it. Some people don't. Chop all them fins off. Get rid of them. Just like that. 
a lot of people use a cleaver. I ain't got one right here, so I ain't that worried about it. Just break it. Take them ribs and cut them up like that right there. Mm -hmm. about, about two. Two or three of them on each piece. Same thing, two or three of them on each. Them are good bones right there. All right, guys, we got a pretty easy setup right here. We got our instant pot, we got our buffalo tenderloins, or just the side fillets off the buffalo. We got some Tony's, any other Cajun seasoning will work, and some liquid crab boil. We'll put this in the instant pot. Got a little bit of water in there. Y'all can see right here, I just split them fillets. This is the real bony meat out of a buffalo. So you still got the little bones all in it. But I trimmed a lot of that red meat off of there. Just gonna put those right there in our instant pot. Just enough water to cover it. Ain't gotta be no whole lot of water in the instant pot. All we're gonna do is basically pressure cook these tenderloins. I'm gonna add a little bit of Tony's. Give a little bit of seasoning in there. We'll add some more later. We'll add a little bit of liquid crab boil. Right there like so. Alright, we'll put our lid on. Lock it. Got the crock pot version of the instant pot here. pressure cook it in this instant pot for an hour and a half. Start. Come back and check it then. Alright, we got that holy trinity. Onion, bell, pepper, and celery sauteing. Getting that ready for our buffalo patties. Alright, we got our buffalo tenderloins cooked down. We This was uh, two and a half buffalo side fillets. Cooked it down in the instant pot. We ended up cooking it a total of two hours. I'm gonna show y'all something right here to get her get a close up. That's those little bones right there. I don't know if you can see this, but those little bones are just coming apart right there. They just crush up. So they basically are dissolved now by pressure cooking them for two hours. So what we're gonna do, we got our vegetables sauteed, that celery, onion, bell pepper. I'm gonna put that in there. All right, we got half a tube, about half a tube of crackers. I got an extra over here if we need some. I'm gonna just crush them up good. Turn them up real fine. Y'all gonna like this one if you try it. I don't know if you've ever eaten salmon patties or anything like that, but this is way better. This buffalo just tastes better. Got an egg. I think one egg may be enough. I got another one there in case I need it. Got our Uncle Chris's there. Use whatever seasoning you want. You can use black pepper and salt. If that's what you want. There's a thousand Cajun seasonings out there. We'll just add a little Tony's. Remember, we already had some seasoning in the Instant Pot, so it's gonna have a little bit already. And I'm gonna add about a cap of liquid crab oil. We already had some in there when we cooked it. I'm gonna add about another cap to that. We're gonna stir all that up. Make some patties. Buffalo patties. It's like if you're making crab cakes or something. 
going to add just a few more crackers. I'm going to make us some patties. Just get a little handful. Flatten out some patties. Take it. Got a little cornmeal mix. I didn't even put any seasoning in that. You really don't need any. Sprinkle a little around on there. Knock it off a little bit. Just kind of dust them. Eggs and crackers just to make that patty stick together is all that's for. Just a little dusting. We used to have an offshore boat and uh, a lot of times we'd come in with a load of black fin tuna. And you talk about good, you could take them black fin tuna you didn't have to pressure cook them. You could just put them in a skillet with some water and kind of sear them a little bit, get them tin, get it uh, kind of flaky, flake it apart, and make these same patties. Only reason we're pressure cooking this for two hours like that with this buffalo is for the bones. You know that's always a problem for a lot of people. They want to cut the ribs out of the buffalo and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of meat there that you're either throwing away or using for bait. Sometimes we'll use it for crawfish bait or whatever. But you could do this meat like this and can it, put it up, or or uh, cook it, make these patties out of it. And you talk about good. You ain't got to pick through all those little, little bones. What we got over here is some crawfish and shrimp etouffee from our last batch Danielle made. They was just in the freezer. Uh, a lot of times if we got leftovers, we'll just put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a the freezer. We'll heat it up and we're gonna pour that over them patties. Got our iron skillet heating up. We're gonna put a little olive oil in there. Just get about a half inch in the bottom of the skillet. A little olive oil in there. You could do it with any other kind of oil. When we when we uh, cook fish in a skillet or something, we tend to use olive oil just for health reasons. A little bit better for you. All right, we're gonna try to try to flip them. Remember, these are pretty much cooked already, so we're really just kind of browning the edges a little bit, crisping them up. These don't take long. Like I said, they pretty much already cook. You just kind of crisping them back up. You could deep fry them if you wanted to. Uh, make balls or patties and deep fry them. They work just as good. All right, do this two different ways. That's some good old buffalo patties. Put them up there on a little rice. Got to make a little rice. Take it, add two fay, pour right over the top of them. I think we did this in another one of our videos, but not with buffalo. That's buffalo right there, just like that. We'll also get us one right here for some ketchup. All right, I'm gonna try it and see what it's like. Look at that. Bones just dissolved in there. I 
tell you what, that's good right there. Real good. Now for this test, get some of that AT fire right there. I gotta have another bite of that right there. That's hitting on all cylinders right there. I'm gonna tell you, everybody talks about buffalo, how bony it is, man. I don't, I wouldn't eat that. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people love it. A lot of the old timers do. But it just solved all of your buffalo bony fish problems for you. That's how you do it. We didn't pull not one single side bone out of those those fillets. All we did is pressure cooked them two hours, made her meat up into patties just like fish cakes or, or uh, crab cakes or anything, fry them, go to town. That's gonna be it for this one. God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.